match day 11. Ridge County 2, Riffin United 1. Raccoon City 0. Pez United 2. Canlip City 1, Arclay Rivers 0. Dornsai United 0. Hyrule Wanderers 1. Seacrest County 3, Sparty United 1. Pallet Town 2, Mute City 2. Seoul City 0. Oakville Wanderers 3. Port Town 0. No. Viridian Forest 1. Castle Villa 3, Tellius Rovers 1. Casatis Town 2, Ballastone Albion 0. No. And there are the standings. Uh, 9 wins now, 2 draws, no losses, 23 goals scored, 5 against and 18 goals. And we are on Superstar, but obviously I've built my team and the others just haven't. Because Pez is so shit. This is a report on the development of your players. M. van der Haar is improving dramatically at the moment. Exclamation mark. Speed has increased to 78. Exclamation mark. Finishing has increased to 49. Exclamation mark. And stamina has increased to 80. Exclamation mark. H. Fard is improving dramatically at the moment. Exclamation mark. Body balance has increased to 80. Exclamation mark. Lobster pass has increased to 75. Exclamation mark. Ball control has increased to 78. Exclamation mark. 9,229,620 Parliament in the kitty. An offer for Jay Bullen has been received from Lost Lil. Okay, so here we are with the team news for our next PEU League game, which will probably be another 65th minute piece of shit, because Pez is so infested in them. Heck, it's even infested in the 2017 demo. Um, this time was a teamwork of 85, my Ridge County side with a, a healthier looking teamwork stat now, I have to say, after the transfer window, isn't it? At 94. Um, Town. Again, not overly impressive for this division, but not underly, you know, not weak, really, for this division. Kind of like the average that you get, um, looking at their squad. Um, but, you know, my team's coming along, isn't it? You know, we've got players improving, Fard and Van der Hart. Let's have a look at the condition after that match where I didn't do any substitutes. Uh so we should have some really rested players and some really quite knackered players. And the ones that are knackered are really up for the game, like, for example, Rom Agnoli. Fard. So he'll probably come, have to come on as a substitute, I would imagine, unless they start him and then sub him for Bullen, and Bullen plays the bulk of the match. Um, but yeah, McKenzie will play, looking at that. Um... It's an option to play Daniela centre mid because Samson's on a blue and Requena might be a bit knackered, so he might come on as a sub. I don't know. Um, St. Graven's out of it by the look of it. But yeah, we'll get a team out there. You know, a decent enough team out there and uh, and give them a game. And hopefully, you know, it won't be a 65th minute piece of shit, but I'm getting them in virtually every single match with that without exception. Uh, this is just, it's not. A joke it, it really isn't um, it just shows how broken it is you know and you know like I've shown it, it it's in 2017 it's there I've shown it uh, you can try it yourself you know pass the ball back to your keeper you can find out yourself um, you know <laughs> There, there are videos that I've had a look at on YouTube because I, I, I object. And people are getting excited for the 2017 demo. Um, uh, you know, is, is it just me? Is it? Is it, it can't be just me. You know, if you're watching this, you know, it's you as well. It's, you know, there are a number of us. We need to, we need to show this people. You know, we really need to get this out there. Who's the... Who's betting that Pez 2017 gets good reviews? Who's betting that they won't fix it? I told you they wouldn't. 
You know, would they fix it? Hell no. Why? Because if they can just copy it, you know, it's like they put some new clothes on it. It looks a little bit prettier. But the menus are still shit. The, you know, if the, gra the graphical design on this game, the presentation, is done by a five-year-old. It must be. Because it's so fucking crap. My God, it's... Uh, what, what, what did they spend the money on in development? Because it wasn't the actual game, and that's the most important thing. There are still collision detection issues. Find out for yourself. Play it yourself. Slow it down. Replay it. Have a look. There are. There are collision detection issues. Fact. You know, the game goes in cheat mode. Fact. Well, you know, you should know that, because 65th minute matches are cheat mode. Attack versus defense is not why you pay 50-odd quid over the counter at launch. Oh, oh, you get some My Club bonus. Yeah, My Club. The cynically structured game mode to extract as much, much cash out of players as fucking possible. In a broken piece of shit. And there are people getting excited about the demo. They should be getting angry about the demo. So, yeah, I've seen these. I've seen them. And it's the same YouTube channels that make money out of Pez. I'm just saying. Is there a co connection there? Is there a coincidence? Hmm? Coincidence? You know? There is a plan. We'll pay you to promote Pez. Thanks. Well, you know, not, not this YouTuber. You know? And hopefully not, not you lot, neither. You know, we need to we need to get this message out there. Right, I, I shall cut this video short now. Uh, I shall see you for the next one. Uh, I will have um, a discussion about 2017 with the demo, not with PES 2016, but with the demo. I just, I, I couldn't contain my anger. I'm sorry, I couldn't. I played a few matches of it. The fucking thing is broken, and I couldn't contain my anger. Right, I shall see you shortly. Take care, guys.